welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Allie DeAndrea, and today I'm going to show you guys how I caught, cleaned, and cooked up these amazing spiny tail lobsters. Nick and I went lobstering in the Florida Keys, which was so much fun. You're about to see that footage right now. <laughs> So we were a couple of miles off of the shore of Key West, Florida, which is the farthest south key in all of the Florida Keys. And we were looking for spiny lobster. Here's how it goes down. Basically, you snorkel around with a net, a pair of gloves, and what they call a tickle stick, which I think that name is hilarious. But basically, you snorkel and look for structure where the lobsters are hiding out. Typically it's like a coral reef and all you'll see are their little antennas sticking out from underneath the rocks. And they look huge when they are under there. And it's really, really exciting. And for me, like the first lobster that I saw, I had those same feelings and excitement as when I'm like sight casting a fish or if I'm hunting, if I see an animal, it was that sort of intense in excitement. When I would see the lobster, I would just immediately dive down and try and get him out of the hole, but that's not really the way to go. I thought that the lobsters would spook off and run away, but they actually don't. They really just hang tight. So you can take as much time as you need to actually come up with a plan and figure out what your best approach is. And then you dive down so that your belly is pretty much parallel with the bottom and you stick your tickle stick into the hole or crevice that the lobster's hiding in. And then once you get it back there, you try and tap the lobster's butt essentially to get them to walk out of the hole. And then at that point, once they sort of show themselves, you'll try and catch them with the net or you can try and grab them with your hands, but you definitely wanna have gloves on because they are spiny as their name suggests. And even if they do start to swim off, they actually swim backwards, just like a crayfish. They're not that hard to catch, even if they do try and swim away. We ended up catching a bunch, but most of them, unfortunately, were too small. There is a size limit to these guys, so we only caught a handful that were actually legal for us to keep. But regardless, we ended up with enough to make ourselves a delicious meal. So first off, you take one of his antennas, and we'll save that for later. I like to get all the way up in there, make sure I'm getting everything. Oh wow, it's just like coming apart. And then from there, I pinch it, and then I pull. And then that's steady, <laughs> we don't need that. Now this is now what brings me back to the antenna. So like like shrimp, they have a, um, a vein and so we're actually going to um, de-poop them because <laughs> it'll taste uh, kind of earthy <laughs> and, yeah, and poopy. So what we do is we take an antenna. They also make tools to do this, but you shove it up his butt. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can see it pushes it. Oh, out. yeah. And then we take out the... Uh, Whoa, take uh, it out that way. And then it comes all out, all that wow. in there. That's all there is to it. I'm back in Pennsylvania and we are going to cook up some lobster on the Pit Boss Sportsman 820 Pellet Grill and it's going to be delicious. I'm so excited. I've never made lobster on the pellet grill. I've only baked it in the oven. So I can only imagine how freaking good this is about to taste. Let me show you. We only have two lobsters left. So these are spiny tail lobsters and you can tell whether the lobster is male or female by these little, I'll call them like leaves here, these little layered leaves that they have underneath on their bottom side. On this guy here, there's just the single layer. And on this guy over here, there is an extra layer of leaves underneath. So this is actually a female and this is a male. So these extra little layers help to hold the eggs on the female. And interestingly enough, there's actually a little size difference between these two 
um, the male's a little bigger than the female in this case. So there are our lobster. Let's get them prepped. First thing to do is fire up the grill. So we plug it in, turn her on, set to smoke, and we wait until we see a flame established down in the burn pot. I should probably clean this thing, <laughs> but not today. Make sure we have enough pellets. Oh yeah. The hopper window is actually really nice because you can peek in and see. You don't have a good angle right here, but you can see in there to check as well. But lots of pellets in there. Beautiful. Okay, wait till we get a flame. Now let's go prepare our lobster. Da -da 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 -da. Spiny tail lobsters are not as sweet as cold water lobsters, but these are still so delicious regardless. So this is gonna be a super easy preparation. We start with butter, chives, minced garlic, black pepper, mix it on up and put that aside to top on our lobsters after they're done cooking. Now we need to cut the lobsters. Just gonna butterfly the tail right down the middle, open it up a little bit, brush with a little bit of olive oil, season with a little bit of salt, and we're ready for the grill. Cut side down. Those will cook for about five minutes face down like that. I'll flip them, top them with that gorgeous herby butter, and then they'll cook for another four minutes and then we'll be ready to eat. So good. See how the tails are starting to turn that beautiful red color? There we go. This guy's not as pretty. <laughs> Got a little carried away with my butterfly. I'm gonna top it with but, uh, oh yeah. They need about another four minutes. Oh my God, it smells so good. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my God, it smells awesome. Yes. There you have it. Look at how beautiful these lobsters are. So last thing to do is top it with a little bit more of this gorgeous butter. I wish I would have chopped these chives up just a little bit more. They're a little bit chunky, but I was really excited and I just wanted to get it on the lobster as soon as possible, but that's okay. So we've got the butter. Also have a couple lemon wedges. Squeeze some lemon on top. First bite. Damn. So good. I will leave a link to the recipe that I used in this video in the description box down below if you're interested. Try it out, you won't be disappointed, even with spiny lobsters, because they're not as good and as sweet as the cold water ones, they're still amazing. So that's it for this video, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.